The value of a true fleet partnership and excellent service impacts a fleet much more than a couple of pennies on the dollar. I think the you know the uh, biggest one is the auto manufacturers with the reorganization uh, of some of them and um, kind of the new makes and models and the legislation how that's going to impact them. Uh, the uh, primary difference from prior years are you know the selection of vehicles I think is continuing to uh, uh, wind down, wane down a little bit and uh, you know the difference in performance between manufacturers is tightening. Uh, the uh, ability for uh, every company to be doing more with less continues to grow and that efficiency quotient that I mentioned a minute ago is becoming more and more important. From a business perspective, I think the, the biggest concern seems to be moving where for years it had been strictly price driven. Uh, that is beginning, I think, to change a little bit and the uh, fleet departments are beginning to realize the value of a, of a partnership and the relationship and the service delivery levels that impact them more than a couple of pennies on the dollar. And that is a refreshing change. It creates a lot of opportunities, uh, but at the same time, you still have to maintain uh, your, your cost of doing business at the lowest margins so that you can be competitive because price is still important. Uh, it's just not the only factor anymore where I think in the, in the past half dozen years, a lot of times that, that, that dominated the decision-making process, whereas today it's only one of the factors that are being considered as, as you've gone down that path and maybe not received the kind of support or received the service delivery that your, your users, your drivers of your vehicles uh, were requiring. I think they're looking for a better balance today. Is it, is it typical that, how often would typically a fleet go out to bid to, to take a look at their services? You know, I don't know that there's there's a fixed set number. You see companies that uh, maybe have been with the same provider and not been out to bid in nine or ten years uh, in some of the larger fleets as the sourcing departments are becoming more involved. I think uh, a lot of businesses are uh, focusing on a more regular cycle in reevaluating all of their vendors, not just their fleet vendors. And uh, the big difference being that making a change to uh, from one fleet management company, let's say, or fleet vendor to another, uh, touches a lot of employees in an organization on a very personal way with their vehicle and the structure and the service levels they receive. So I think the due diligence to make a change has probably increased, as I mentioned, not just on the financial side, but on the services capability side, that um, you know, even if they're going out to bid every two or three or four years, the financial differential isn't as great so they're beginning to focus on those other service areas that actually touch their drivers who are actually the ultimate end users of the vehicles.